hi and welcome to uh, my overview of this uh, Zotac Z68 uh, ITX Wi-Fi motherboard uh, now what I'm going to do I I've already done an uh, unboxing on this uh, so this is going to be a little uh, overview uh, kind of highlighting the features and all the gadgets that this motherboard has. Uh, we'll start at the back I.O. Uh, it has uh, 8 channel uh, audio, uh, HD audio, it has a uh, speed diff for your, your uh, digital uh, audio. Uh, it also has a HDMI port, uh, a DVI port and a mini uh, uh, what you call it, display port. It has two uh, uh, Ethernet ports, uh, gigabit, and then it has two USB 3.0 in the back, and it has uh, PS2 uh, uh, USB keyboard uh, mouse combo. Um, it has a little reset button right here, so you can reset your uh, settings, uh, your, your uh, BIOS settings. And then it also has uh, one, two, three, four regular USB ports. Um, what else? And it has a Wi Fi uh, on board. It comes with these little uh, antennas. Uh, let me show you. Uh, it comes with two of these antennas that you can just screw on top of here, and then you'll have uh, Wi Fi uh, on board. Uh, with the motherboard. Now, since we are already covering the Wi-Fi, now what you can do is, since the Z68 supports uh, like the SSD, you know, speed backup, whatever they call it, uh, what you can do, or uh, SSD catch that helps your regular hard drive uh, uh, perform better. So what you can do if you don't want the Wi-Fi uh, on this. Uh, since it has two gigabit ports on there, I don't know why would you want to. Well, if you're, you know, in a LAN party or something and they don't have enough jacks, then you can use Wi Fi, so that's probably what it is. But uh, what you can do is, uh, I'm going off, to off topic, what you can do is you can remove this and put a small uh, uh, SSD. Uh, the mini PCI Express SSD on here uh, to help your regular hard drive perform better. It will use as a catch, so you'll catch uh, you know, bits and pieces of data and perform, your hard drive will perform better. Uh, so that's what you can do. You can remove this. There is a little clip. It comes with another clip to hold your hard drive. Let me see if I can find it. And where did I put it? Okay, I can't locate it. Well, here you go. Now, this is the hard drive uh, holder. You can remove this one and put this one on, and then you'll hold your hard drive. A little uh, PC Express hard drives. Now, moving on, it has um, two uh, SATA 6 GB per second uh, ports and two uh, SATA uh, 3 GB per second ports um, and it also has uh, a USB uh, you know back headers or front headers whatever you call them like if you have a uh, front USB 3.0 port uh, then you can connect it right here and you'll have uh, front support it has uh, two in the back so if you need the front you can use that um, it also has a full uh, full speed uh, x16 slot for your graphics card you can put pretty much anything on there and make it a little monster uh, mobile gaming rig or you can use it for whatever and then the, here's the z68 uh, z68 chipset so very powerful uh, it has one two And that's about it. Two onboard fan headers. I don't see any more. So that's the only two I got. For a small system, you probably won't need more. 
Uh, but since it is a, the Z68, it probably get a little bit hot if it doesn't have enough uh, fan hitters. So you can kind of connect a lot of uh, fans. Uh, well, you know, depending on the case that you have. But yeah, it has one for uh, the CPU and then one for uh, exhaust or intake, whatever fan you want to plug in here. Uh, that's going to be a negative right there. Um, yeah. And it also has a little uh, onboard uh, power button right here. Tiny little power button. Uh, you can turn it on using that uh, if you want to test it outside the case. Uh, it also has uh, little LED uh, error codes, whatever gives you the error codes. So if you have any issues or whatever, you can correct them. Um, what else? And of course, two slots. Uh, it can hold up to 16 uh, GB of DDR3 RAM. Um, right now, since they don't have the 8 gig uh, sticks, or they're too expensive, uh, you're limited to 8 GB. That's the only drawback of uh, this motherboard. Uh, you can only put 8 GB of RAM at this time. You might be able to uh, upgrade later on, but that's all you can do right now. 8 gigs, which is more than enough for more stuff. Um, am I missing anything? Nope, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, sorry for uh, my voice. I have a cold. Uh, so if you can't hear me, I'm sorry. But yeah, and let me know what you think about the motherboard. Uh, throw in any ideas. I've got this uh, Silverstone case that I'm gonna put this in uh, right there. I'm using it. I will. Uh, I'm gonna use it as a display uh, for my brother's computer repair store right there, um, and I'm gonna use it. So. Let me, let me know what you think about that case and also and of course I'm going to put the HD uh, 6950 graphics card uh, in this motherboard in this uh, system so it's going to be wild uh, let me know what you think uh, if this is a good choice uh, for uh, oh, for uh, gaming slash you know day to day use computer um, if you have any suggestions uh, this is, is this the right choice or not Right now, I haven't. I mean, I've, I've uh, researched a lot. I haven't found anything that's as powerful as this in the Mini ATX form. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, if you have any, you know, suggestions, questions, uh, anything, uh, let me know. Leave a comment. Uh, if you have your own uh, little mini gaming system, uh, do a video reply. I really appreciate that. Uh, and let me know what you think. Thanks.